Hey everyone, how's it going? It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, just been hectic, been busy. But, and my phone, SD cards, I hate them. They always go bad. And I was too lazy to go buy another one. But, right now, I have a John Deere L100. I was told it idles real high. My first thought before he brought it was the governor. The governor took a crap. Well, when he got it here and he started it, it was high, but not extremely high. And he could still throttle it up and down. And even on low, it was still high. So I knew it wasn't the governor. I had a suspicion of what it was. And I tore it apart, and my suspicion was right. So let me fire it up and show you what I was talking about. Alright, this is that John Deere L100. It has the Briggs & Stratton Intec 17 horse engine. Let's jump up on this bad boy. bore you with uh, with this to pull the cover off of here I took this green mesh which is four Allen wrenches bolts loosen these two up you come back here and there's a bolt right here and another one right here that's behind the fuel line you could either pull the fuel pump or like I did I just put an open end wrench there and loosen it up Pull the air filter off, and I can get this moved out of the way enough to do what I need to do without disconnecting the fuel line or having to take the fuel pump off. So my suspicion was this governor rod linkage spring. And what do you see? You see it? Keep your camera still, Kevin. Right there. See that spring? That spring is all bent. Look at that. That spring is no good. So that was my suspicion. That that's what it was. So we need to take off the linkage rod in order to get that spring off. And we could do this one of three ways. One we can pull the carburetor off so we can get this linkage rod off so we can get that off of there. Two, we can get back here, disconnect the governor arm, pull the arm off, and then pull the linkage off that way so we can change that spring. Or three, take a pair of wire cutters, cut the linkage rod, and then we can do it and just weld that linkage rod back together. Don't ever do number three. Don't. Don't even do it. So, I think 
I might end up pulling that governor arm off and go that way. And I can always just reset the governor. I mean, that's easy enough. If I pull the carburetor, I take the chances of ripping gaskets. Governor arm, there is no risk of that. So that's the way we're going to go. So let me get all set up and we'll bring you back. All right, I'm going to try to do this without sticking my fat head in your way. So for this, I'm using a 3 8 wrench to loosen that up. And that's off. We're in. We are in. We got it off. And we didn't break anything. So, let's see if we can get this twisted so we can get that off. Got that off. Alright, we got that off. So now we'll just carefully pull the spring off. And again, you can see that that was all bent. And that one is a little bit. That might have happened taking it off. So let me grab the new one. And like I said, this is the Briggs and Stratton Intec 17 horse. Um, engine model 318 777. Type 0202E1. For this engine, it's Briggs and Stratton, part number 691842 is what it calls for. So, and there's the spring. Just a thin little thing. And that's why they go bad. They're so thin, there's nothing to them. You can see the difference. One's good, one's bad. You make the judgment call, which is what, which is which. So. We'll keep this spring back in there. Carefully do that. We don't want to bend it. Just damage it. I don't want to have to go buy another one. And it's on. Alright, so we'll start with getting in the rod. Put back on this end on the carburetor side. My neighbors are being noisy. Let me shut this door. I live on the main road, and there's a lot of traffic as well, so I'm sure you're hearing all that. So, all right. So, let's try to feed this back on there. And there's two different holes on the governor arm. One's a little hole, and the other one's got a plastic piece in there. I don't know if you can see that from there, but the rod goes where the plastic piece is. All right, that is on there. Now, let's see if we can get that spring on there. Let's see if we can get the spring on there without bending it and ruining it. Again, I don't want to have to go spend any more money than I have to. All right. Spring is on there. So get this governor arm put back on. And again, if my head is in your way, I do apologize. So, all right, now 
we need to get a spring into that little hole. Get your fingers out of the way. So that is our next step to get that in there. it get that on there as you can see that spring is now in the hole and it doesn't look damaged like the other one was all right now we need to set the governor all right let's set this governor all right to do that we need I'm using a 3 16 socket and putting it on the little shaft, hex shaft down here. Put that on there. We need to hold this up so it's going clockwise. Um, but yeah, we want to go. All right. So keep that there, holding it clockwise. Hold the throttle wide open and let's tighten this up tighten that governor arm up <clears throat> now that we have that governor set let's start it up and see how it sounds let me open the door back up <laughs> can hear the rain. Uh, so let's start this up and see if it's still a very fast idle. Fire in the hole!